normally have to go ahead and use my own IP address so I'll go ahead and select this I just copy it and I'll paste it over here it's your payload handler on a different IP from your external NAT port forward address no I'll just go ahead and see it enter okay I believe I need to enter something so I'll just select yes no different IP from your external NAT I believe so no let's check and select the option that you want uh, so over here you can go ahead and make your own self-signed certificate applet use one that is built in into SCT uh, or you can go ahead and have your own signing certificate I would be using the built-in one on the SCT so I'll just select 2 and I'll hit enter enter the URL to clone so I'll probably go ahead and use uh, the gmail one so I'll just go ahead and select gmail okay did not start the new tab gmail I'll just copy this and I'll paste it over here so this would be going ahead and cloning this website so what I need to do is that I need to go ahead and forward my IP address to that person and as soon as he clicks on that link he will be getting something that uh, that he needs to go ahead and run this Java and uh, over here it's asking me which one do I want to run if I go ahead and select one it will go ahead and open the command prompt but I don't want a command prompt because I have my interpreter shell which can do much more than just command prompt so I'll just select two and I'll hit enter and I would be using a backdoor executable which is uh, quite good enough for me to go ahead and gain access to the root system port would be the same that's 443 And let the listener start while I'll while by that time I'll just go ahead and use my IP address. Okay. So as you can see, moving payload into the clothes side. That means uh, the fake website that I created, uh, I have moved this uh, my virus into that website. So right now. Uh, let's say for example, let me tell you what exactly is the difference between actually going ahead and phishing that person to open a payload which is inside a PDF or an MP3 or a difference between actually going ahead and do that. If I go ahead and uh, install a PDF or in sorry, install a payload inside a PDF, uh, I'll just go ahead and cancel this and if I go ahead and send that to that person. Okay, let me check. So if I go ahead and do that, <clears throat> what would normally happen is that uh, if the person does not have Adobe installed, he will not be able to run that PDF file and I won't be able to open anything. So over here, I need to make sure that uh, even if the person does not have the Adobe installed, he should be able to run. That's why I'm going ahead and asking him to run this website. So I would go ahead and send this to via email or through Facebook or something like that. Oh my God, see this video or see this image or something. And I'll go ahead and paste it over here. Um, not this. Just copy it and out. Okay. As you can see, this site uses a Java plugin that will be soon be unsupported. Okay. Let's see what error it's giving me. As you can see, it's giving me uh, this uh, error that whether I want to run this application, normal person will simply go ahead and click on run. And as soon as they click on run, they will be redirected to the original website. So normal person will not even be able to understand exactly what happened. Okay, I just click the run and I have my email ID. I can surely go ahead and log in. But what they don't know is that I have my interpreter session open over here. As you can see, uh, I have sent my stage uh, to that specific website and my session has been opened. So I'll just go ahead and select sessions one L and I'll select I and one and my session has started. Okay, I believe multiple sessions were opened. Okay, perfect. So, but there is a catch to this uh, specific uh, error. If I go ahead and close this thing, I'll show you what happens exactly. As you can see, my if I go ahead and type something over here, let's say ls, it will still work. 
The reason being that even though my interpreter session was uh, closed, there is still the Chrome still runs in the background, and that's why my uh, thing is running. But if the person comes and sees in his, uh, for some reason, if he goes ahead and opens his task manager, he will see that uh, so many command lines and so many PowerShell are still running. So he will probably try to go ahead and run everything, uh, go ahead and close everything over here. So if he goes and closes each and every other thing, I will probably, okay, as you can see, my interpreter session has died. So uh, I'll just go ahead and check. I sessions L, okay. I still have my few other sessions running because uh, uh, that specific uh, Java applet attack method opened multiple sessions. So I'll just go ahead and background this. And let's see how much sessions I have open. I have four sessions open over here. So if the person goes around and closes all these PowerShell, my session will directly get closed. But I don't want that to happen. So what I would do is that I will go ahead and open either of my sessions. Let's say for example one. And I will go ahead and see, I'll just type PS to see all the PIDs that are running. So I, as you can see, I have whatever it's running over here. I can see all of these things over here. So I'll migrate my virus to something else. So let's see the PID of explorer.exe. I'll migrate myself to that. So it's 2324. So I'll just type migrate 2324 and I'll hit enter. Let's see if I'm able to successfully migrate. Perfect. Now, even if the person goes ahead and closes each and everything over here, I'll still be able to keep my access to that no matter what happens because I have migrated myself from the browser to the normal uh, normal application and now I have gone ahead and closed that uh, or I have migrated myself to the Explorer. So until unless the uh, explorer.exe is closed, my session will still be running. I'll go ahead and show you that. I'll go ahead and close all the command prompts and... I'll get a few sessions died, but my session, uh, original session is still running. I'll still go ahead and close all the, okay, perfect. Everything else is closed. I'll even go ahead and close the Java update scheduler. So as you can see, I have uh, session two and session four closed. I'll hit enter, but as you can see, I have still this uh, specific interpreter still running. If I go ahead and uh, make it on the background, you can see that uh, session one is still running and all others would be dead. So, but if the person is smart enough, which probably normally no people are, but if he goes ahead and closes his explorer, but he will not have any kind of doubt that it, it will actually have migrated to his explorer. But if he goes ahead and closes that, our interpreter session will close and we won't be able to do anything after that. So, but normally uh, the person will not be able to go ahead and go ahead to this much uh, level and uh, and he will normally go ahead and not close the explorer which is actually a benefit for us. So yes, that is it for this tutorial guys and in the next uh, tutorial I'll be starting with the man in the middle attack or the monkey in the middle attack. Till then, have fun.